So it is morning time in Portland and we're doing the average walking around for breakfast. Today the first spot we went to was a two hour and 45 minute wait. Tasty and Elder, which I really wanted to hit in Portland. And instead we went to Cheryl's on 12th. That was really good. So we usually wake up uh, 10, 15, 10, 30, get dressed and then go wait somewhere awesome. And today was really, really good. Uh, Portuguese fried rice, extra egg. And now we are heading back to the venue. Welcome to the underground. <laughs> Let's see my head. You had double heels with my legs. I was trying to get both feet inside. All right, so uh, now we're walking to dinner, as I'm always finding dinner. But these early shows, it sucks. I have to eat dinner at like what time is it? Three thirty. But luckily, it's next door. Taco place. So here we are. Yeah, I just started. All right, so, uh, Finished dinner. 
Going to the meet and greet. Going to greet some meat. And here's the rest of the venue too. Oh, hello. Where should we go? Okay. Yes, I speak very few German words. This is kind of the side backstage. There's the people. Hello. Enthusiastic. Love it, love it. Passing bells calling in my name. I knew I'd never see another day. I couldn't swim against the tide to blame. I knew there was no other right. When everything repeats, it's easy to cut us down and board it our defeat. It's easy to be right when everything repeats. Tick below the surface, find your insecurities. Tell me, maybe you were right, maybe I was wrong, but I've been silent for far too long. I was cold. This battle spawned all that I've known until now, but I was cold. Nothing will keep me from this throne now fine Until the world goes cold Until the world goes cold So after all these years I've figured out combining my insane warm-ups is a good time-saving thing and it actually works out just as well as if they were all separated So what I do with my warm-ups is um Three hours before the show, I have an hour of vocal warm-ups. And within that hour, it's 30 minutes of head voice exercises, which people kind of incorrectly call falsetto. That's what my teacher told me, that what a lot of people think is falsetto is actually head voice. Falsetto is when it's breathy and quiet, and um, head voice is when it's just resonating in your head. Like imagine like Adam Levine's voice, or King Diamond, or Rob Halford, the high stuff. That's called head voice because it resonates up here. It's like a gear shift, like a car. You have to shift gears to go up here. So you should switch to up here, because what I used to do is sing super high from your chest voice, and which is dangerous. That brings a lot of weight up this way. Instead, you keep all the weight up here, above the place that's kind of dangerous. So 30 minutes of head voice exercises, Ron's exercises, um, 20 minutes of head voice trivium songs, and then 10 minutes of full voice. That's like bringing the power of the chest into the warmed up head. And that's what something uh, Matt from Avenge described to me as what he does. He keeps the head voice extremely warmed up before ever putting the chest voice in. And that's what I've been doing. So I combine that first hour, the first 30 minutes, I'm sorry, is with um, guitar exercise at the same time, typically with a metronome. The next 20 minutes is foam rolling and stretching, a combination of the two. And then I've been doing the 10 minutes of singing with physical therapy exercises because my shoulder keeps effing up because of jujitsu and yoga and shows and a guitar and refusing to take a break. So that's my time management skills. And that is my warm up. And then I do another 15 minutes, 30 minutes before the set, and then another five minutes before the set, five minutes before the set and then I cool down, which is like two and a half minutes after the set. So that's how I stay in shape, vocally. And yeah, that's it. Maybe some more foam rolling like 45 minutes before, if I'm feeling like I need more, and a little bit of stretching, either before, during, or after that 30 minutes before the show, that 15 minutes before the 30 minutes of the show. Yes, welcome to my brain.
So here's the tour bus. This is the back. Um, this is actually a loaner bus. Typically we're in a bus that is a similar layout. There's actually a 2017 and I think this is a 2012 or 2011. We don't normally have this much shit out, but we have a lot of people on this bus. Uh, we've got a couple wives out and that's why this thing is extra baggy. Uh, that shit kind of drives me crazy because I'm OCD. The bunk hall. My bunk. Spacious, huh? Yeah, look at that. That's where I sleep. It's about six foot three by, I don't know, what do you think? Three and a half feet. Everyone else's bunks. Shoe alley. I will take you up front. Like I said, normally when a 2017 Caljo, and this is a 2011 because our bus broke down. We had to kind of got screwed, and for some reason, we're not getting updates from the company.